dreams are colorful and vibrant and a little bit blurry. And today we're going to show you how to create a dream like effect on your photos in Photoshop. Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. I love this effect. It's so easy to do and you can take the coloring from one of your favorite images. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop and show you how to do it. So here are the images for today. We have our original photograph and then I love the coloring of this image. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab our move tool right over here on the top left and go ahead and click and drag from one image over to the other and click on F for full screen. Now I want to bring this right around there and we're actually going to take some of the colors from this image. We'll change our layer blend mode from normal right here down to screen and you can see some of the colors start to overlay on top of the subject. Now, of course, we can zoom in and see, okay, I can see clouds and I can see the sun right on our forehead and it's actually kind of a cool effect, but what I want to do is give it a little bit of a blur. So we're going to go ahead and click on this layer. We're going to right click and I'm going to go all the way to where it says convert to smart object. Okay, now that it's a smart object, we're going to go to filter, we're going to go down to blur, and I'm going to go to a Gaussian blur. There we go. Now with this Gaussian blur, I can still see some of the effects of the original image, like these clouds and things like that. We're going to blur them so you can't really like make out what those details are, but the color is going to transfer from one photo to another. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Let's hit OK there. Turn that off and on. I absolutely love this. Let's go ahead and bring our opacity down just a little bit. Fantastic. Now, if you want to take your coloring even farther, I recommend this amazing adjustment layer in Photoshop called a gradient map. Let's show you how to use that. Okay. Now for this one, we're going to go ahead and just turn this layer off temporarily so you can see how a gradient map works. Let's go ahead and click back on our background layer. We're going to go right up to layer. We're going to go to new adjustment layer and down here to gradient map. Hit OK. Now with this gradient map, you'll get in your properties window right over here. You'll go ahead and choose which type of gradient you would like. And in your little drop down, you can see you have your basics and your blues. I'm going to choose a purple right here. Let's go ahead and scroll down. There we go. And we're going to choose this purple right there. That looks fantastic. Now here, still in your properties window, you can see it looks opposite of what we want. So we want to check this where it says reverse. I want to make sure to check this so it doesn't look like it's inverted my color. So let's go ahead and click reverse. And there we go. Your image should look nice and natural. Fantastic. So we can go back to our layers. I'm just going to pop this on the very top there. And now I can go ahead and start lowering my opacity. And when I combine these two effects, there we go. We have our gradient map here at the top. And then we have this coloring that we actually got from our sunset and I can kind of work with the two opacities and there we go. Look at that beautiful coloring. Now the color is spot on, but I want to create a little bit of like a blur effect, especially with the highlights of the image. What we're going to do is duplicate our background layer. We're going to give it a motion blur and then set the layer mask. So it lightens. Basically it's going to kind of like blur those highlights and give us that really nice dream effect. All right, so this background layer, let's go ahead and click on that. We're going to hit Control or Command J. That's going to duplicate it so we have a background copy now. Okay, we want to turn this into a smart object. Anytime we're going to use a filter in Photoshop, like a blur, like a motion blur, a Gaussian blur, I recommend using a smart object. That way you can change that blur at any time. Okay, again, to get to your smart object, you can right click on your layer and go down to where it says Convert to Smart Object. Boom. You have this little icon letting you know, yep, we're in a smart object. Fantastic. So now let's go up tier two filter. We're going to go down to where it says blur and we're going to go to motion blur. And in this case, we're just going to give it a blur to the top, right? You can change your direction of the blur here. Check that out. Ooh, that's looking really good. And then you can change your distance. So you're going to have less of a blur or more of a blur. Something like that looks really good. Let's hit OK. Fantastic. So we have a blur with our original image, but then check this out. You can go right up here to your blending mode and I can set this to something like lighten. And now if I want to, I can simply move this layer a little bit, right? I can move it and I have this really interesting blur effect. If I turn this off and on, you can see it's subtle. Like I still see my subject. I still see all the effects of this. It looks really nice in the hair there. Okay. It's a really nice subtle effect that kind of gives the photo just a bit of that dream-like quality. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and 
minimize all these layers here so we can see what we've done. So back to our original image, we've got this blur, this nice motion blur here. You can see it just gives it that beautiful effect. We've got some coloring that we actually got from our original photograph. And then the gradient map over top just finishes this off. I love this effect. The trick of using a different photograph, bringing it in, giving it a Gaussian blur instead of the screen to color your image, that's super cool. And then also be sure to click on that gradient map adjustment layer, play around and find a cool gradient map that really gives you the coloring you love. If you enjoyed today's video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you wanna get more free tutorials, click on subscribe. Thanks again, and I'll learn you later. Bye everyone.